Today I'm going to be taking my X10 Mini Pro and using the Clockwork Mod Installer package that's over on the XDA forums to route and install a recovery on the device. I've just used PC Companion to repair, um, using the software update section to repair the device so that it's got the most up-to-date Sony Ericsson firmware which as we all know is the last, re last release that they'll be making and uh, here I am, first thing to do is obviously unlock the device and enable USB debugging. USB, USB debugging is in the main settings under applications and then in the development section. So I'll check the checkbox and OK the confirmation dialog box. Now that's, uh, now that's turned on, I can take the micro USB cable and connect it up to the device. When it, when it asks me, I'm just going to tell it just to charge the phone so I can see what's going on the screen. And you can now see that in addition to the USB icon in the status bar, there's also a USB debugging mode. I'm running Windows in a virtual machine, so the first thing I need to do is tell the virtual machine to use the USB device. Now on your Windows PC, you wouldn't need to worry about this, um, so I'm just going to do that. It would be the same as you plug, plugging it in. Um, and at this point here, it will install the Sony Ericsson device drivers. Um, for that, you'll need to in, have installed Sony Ericsson Update Services or Sony Ericsson PC Companion, which uh, I expect will pop up in a minute and tell me that it wants to run its, run its updates. Well, it's not doing anything, so that's good. Right, uh, if you get any PC Ericsson, sorry, PC companion sent software popping up you'll need to dismiss it and uh, take yourself over to where you've downloaded the clockwork mod installer extract the files this is for the X10 mini pro um, basically it's a collection of the individual elements that work for all of the um, X10 mini and the X8 although this is specific to the to the mini pro in the way it's being packaged up it includes the ADB files uh, the clockwork mod files the super one click routing piece of software and a little batch file to tie it all together. I'm going to go ahead and run the batch file and uh, it just gives me a sort of are you ready to proceed bit of text, ask me to check the requirements and press any key to continue. So here I go. First question, is your device routed? Well I've just done the uh, repair on the software so no it's not routed so I press no or press N and carry on. Uh, it now opens up Super One Click to route the device. It's as simple as pressing the root button, which will basically kill the ADB server on the device um, and then <coughs> restart it on a particular port and pushes the files over and uh, basically boots the device as simple as that you can see the process or the progress tells you what it's doing and it asks you if you want to run a test I'm going to run yes sometimes it doesn't always show um, and it's just sending an SU command over to the device now let's see if anything happens over here maybe if my phone was unlocked it might be an easier it's not showing anything there but I think you can yep there we go you can see super user so about the phone I'm recording on doesn't have any auto focusing so it's staying out of focus but there's a new super user app now in there which is great news back over super one click all we have to do is obviously it wants to know if you'd like to donate obviously if you'd like to then go ahead and do that I'm going to choose no and <coughs> close super one click which takes me back to the um, batch file and I can uh, press the key to continue and uh, it just does a few things to do with uh, restarting the ADB server if there's any problems uh, and then mounts the file system and asks me if I've got any recovery installed so at this point I'm going to say no because obviously I don't I've only just rooted the device so there's no recovery installed I'll choose no and it pushes over the uh, tarred um, clockwork mod recovery over to the device So it pushes charge on and busy box and then sets the appropriate 
permissions on the files and then reboots the phone and then basically that is pretty much it finished so now the phone's there, what's it doing? it's restarting so at this point I'm going to press the back button while the Sony Ericsson logo is loading up and as you can see now I've gone into clockwork mod it's installed version 3.2.0.0 R5 obviously there are some newer versions out at the moment and we're all waiting for uh, the CyanogenMod official instructions to be written which will include Clockwork Mod 4 and above and custom kernels and all wonderful things um, which are all there waiting for us and there we are, one device rooted back over here we'll just press OK and that basically closes everything and that's it all done I hope it all works as smoothly as it did for me for you guys cheers <laughs>